As literally one of the biggest companies in the world, Coca-Cola has their giant fingers dipped in a lot of giant pies. It just so happens that one of those fingers is in the extremely lucrative market for bottled water. The product we're discussing today is Dasani, which currently earns Coca-Cola just shy of $1 billion annually in the United States despite being nothing more than filtered tap water. Yes, you heard it right, tap water. A lot of bottled water sold in the US comes from the same municipal sources that supply tap water, a fact probably unknown to most consumers. The Dasani water was made at the company's Detroit plant where Coca-Cola purchased, treated, and bottled the municipal water before selling it at a huge markup to their consumers. This business model has been insanely profitable since the municipal water is extremely cheap to purchase. Once bottled, the markup can be approximately 133 times higher. However, what's good for the business isn't necessarily good for consumers. Even though Dasani sells well in the United States, the soda giant tried to market in the UK, which didn't go well. The general media was quickly whipped into a frenzy after a 2004 article in The Grocer casually mentioned the tap water source of Dasani water. Coca-Cola's audacity in this circumstance was jokingly compared to the plot of an episode of the British sitcom Only Foods and Horses, in which the main characters attempt to bottle and then market tap water from Peckham as Peckham Spring for an exorbitant markup. It's important to note that Dasani water was produced in Sidcup, which is only 10 kilometers from Peckham. Things continued to go wrong for Coca-Cola when they launched their online marketing campaign in the UK and began advertising Dasani as being full of spunk, bottled spunk, and that you can't live without spunk, causing even more widespread mockery from the public and media. You see, spunk is slang for sperm in the UK. This was even more funny because many of the ads showed models slathering Dasani all over their faces. It seems like they never learned how to drink water properly. In addition, Coca-Cola insisted in their marketing that this particular spunk could be enjoyed at home, at the gym, at work, and in between, that it was vitally refreshing, and that it was a way of everyday life. After cleaning up their horrible online marketing campaign, Coca-Cola released a PR statement emphasizing the purity of Dasani, using buzzwords like multi-barrier filtration and reverse osmosis, and adding that the water went through a technique perfected by NASA to purify fluids on spacecraft. They mean fluids like urine, which doesn't sound very appealing when explicitly mentioned in an advertisement. I guess stating that it's essentially the same filtration system utilized by many home water filters is also a much less sexy way to describe their filtration procedure. Also, Coca-Cola's water supplier, Thames Water, didn't agree with Coca-Cola's statement. Their spokesperson brought out their own statement, saying their tap water is pure already, and that this has gotten confirmed by the drinking water inspectorate, who carries out 3 million checks a year. In the end, blind taste tests even showed that people couldn't tell the difference between Dasani and Thames water tap water when served in the same cups and at the same temperatures. Despite this, Coca-Cola redoubled their efforts to promote their purification process in the hope that doing so would regain public support. However, the method they used to filter the water actually left it full of bromate, a compound that could cause cancer and has a legal limit of only 10 micrograms per liter. As a result, Coca-Cola had to recall more than half a million bottles of Dasani, and the Food Standards Agency advised people who had already purchased Dasani not to drink it. Fortunately, the levels of bromate in Dasani did not present any immediate health risks, despite being well above the legal limit. As you can imagine, the PR nightmare reached its peak when the combined news broke that Coca-Cola was taking regular tap water, accidentally adding a substance that could cause cancer, and then trying to sell it for a 316,000% markup over the cost of the water itself. They pulled Dasani out of the UK and cancelled plans to launch Dasani in certain other regions of Europe. If you tried Dasani water, please let me know your experience in the comments. And if you liked this video, hit the like and subscribe button on your way out, and we hope to see you soon again.